South African Reserve Bank released its Banking Supervision Department annual report for 2015 in Johannesburg. The Reserve Bank plans to pursue local banks to upgrade their cyber securities in order to defend themselves against attacks. You are always going to be subjected to these kinds of attacks and some of them are going to succeed. Um, we have both preventative and uh, uh, reactive policies in, 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 in our arsenal. Uh, prevention is the better option. Standard Bank this week confirmed it was a victim of a sophisticated, coordinated fraud incident to an amount estimated at 300 million. The Reserve Bank has also welcomed the manner in which Standard Bank handled the incident. You know, we can quote numbers as to the money banks invest in getting up to speed and, and uh, with cyber crime and the processes that are putting in place, all of that. But um, one must understand that banks also rely on outside vendors and outside platforms. And, 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 and what we have seen is, is that the cyber attacks actually happen there, much rather than what's happening within the bank. Meanwhile, African Bank, which was put under curatorship in 2014, is operating well to resuscitate itself. Its banking license application has also been received and approved by Reserve Bank. Uh, Mr. Tom Winterbull, who is the curator, our view has done a, a good job in, 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 in curating the bank, in rescuing the bank, but it's been a team effort both within the South African Reserve Bank and between the National Treasury and ourselves. Capitec and Deutsche Bank South Africa have been fined a combined 25 million rand by the South African Reserve Bank. Penalties imposed on the banks in 2015 relate to their failure to comply with the select provisions in the Financial Centre Intelligent Act. Although South African banks remain one of the best in the world, South African Reserve Bank says they are working closely with the banks to ensure that cyber attacks is minimized as it undermines the integrity of the financial sector. Pomato, ANN7, Johannesburg.